Hey, Russ. Hey, Chris. Hey, Russ and Chris. Oh my gosh, it's my friend the bee. Yes, I came here to tell you about the future. Oh, no! Russ, you can't kill a bee. Have you never played Earthbound? Don't you know what happens when you kill bees? No, it was a bee. Hey, Ro er, this week, we're talking about Earthbound. Yeah, Earthbound, my favorite game from childhood. Oh, wait, I never played it. I did play Earthbound. In fact, it is my favorite game. And I've certainly heard plenty of people like Chris who have said, oh my god, Earthbound, I'm so excited it came out on the Wii U. Uh, I have no association with that whatsoever. The funny thing about favorite games is often you keep them on this pedestal, yep. but don't return to them, which is my case. I haven't played it since the first time I played it as a wee child. And my fear was that I would return to Earthbound and I might hate it, which I didn't. That's awesome. But you did. Yes, I did. Well, to be fair, I did not play through the entirety of Earthbound. I played three to four hours and by the end of it, I wanted to throw my Wii U out the window. I will say though, I didn't hate everything about Earthbound. One thing that I found rather charming was the fact that Earthbound was set just in a regular old town. I think that is why I liked it so much and why I still like it so much because there aren't many role-playing games set in a place that feels like my hometown, starring a character that feels like me enjoying things that I enjoy. So, how much of your childhood was dedicated to uh, hitting street thugs in the face with a bat? Quite a bit. Grew up on the rough and tumble streets of Kansas City, Missouri, where all we had was our wits and barbecue sauce and an old baseball bat. The graphics. We can both agree the graphics are great. The game looks excellent. Disagree. You're crazy. If this was an NES game, Absolutely looks great. You're done. SNES, literally, we're gonna put up two screens. Chrono Trigger, which came out the very same year. It's ridiculous. And Earthbound. Okay. And compare the two. We're gonna put up two screens. Crisis running on maximum settings and Half-Life. I'm I just mean, saying, sure, they're two, fine, but it's they're two no. 2D games. It's not like it was pushing hardware. It was an art thing. They and had the, the budgets were insanely different. Were they? I'm sure they were. You don't know. You have no idea. That's a oh that's an I don't God. know. Good reporting, Chris. I want to Chris. literally just peel your skin off, like one the other, skin of a banana. One other thing that bothered me. And I want to punch right through your banana pulp. <laughs> what I really love about this game, even today, is that it believes in positivity. The entire point of the game is that this negative monster is feeding off the negative energy of Earth people, and you go across the world making people feel better, getting them past their petty problems. And you have the ability to pray. Like, that is a weapon in the game. Yeah, because religion has always been great for everyone everywhere in the world. You're it's the never worst. caused any problems at all. I'm glad that all this was shiny and happy and new. Unfortunately, you just had to sit through 40 hours of boring combat, dull gameplay, obtuse objectives, frustrating, repetitive action, no interesting storylines, stupid combat, hitting guys in the face with bats even though they didn't deserve it, that goddamn robot in the forest that I didn't know what he was doing in there. Why was there even a robot in the back of that garden? The mayor wouldn't give me a key. Why not? Just give me the goddamn key. Don't make me beat the gang members over the head. It was just a shitty game. I hated it. I wanted it to stop at every minute. This is the stop the goddamn horrible game. I hate you. You're the one, kid. Don't be the player anymore. I don't want to play anymore.